Hi, this is a review of a children's a board book, a picture book from Andrews McMeal Publisher. It's called Callow's Koalas One, Two, Three Count Art With Me. And it's a board book, which means it's made of this sturdy card stock. And it's a little bit smaller for a little bit younger children to be able to hold the whole thing, even though they may still, they'll still need somebody to read it to them. But it's kind of clever the way this book was designed. This has had a sticker on it, so sorry that didn't come off, but um, it won't be like that when you buy the book. But it's all about art. And if you turn the book, open the book, it's full of double page spreads where the artist, like I said, Grace Helmer, has drawn something or painted something in the style of a particular artist. So number one, for number one, Picasso Panda. So that lets us see uh, Picasso's style of artwork. Then we go to two, and there are those pandas because they're in the style of Frida Kahlo. So that's number two. Then three, we see this other style with some llamas and then the artist there. And five, Jackson Pollock, his poodles. So it goes up to number 10. Helps kids count from one to 10. You can see double page spreads, um, very hard, heady, heavy card stock, and it's a little bit easy to get the pages stuck together is the only thing. Here's a pretty one. And so it goes up to number 10, as I said. And then what I really like after that, it uh, helps the child count and they can point to each number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then at the back of the book, it has a gallery of artists. And this is really nice because as the child gets just a little bit older, you can use it to help them understand each of these artists style of painting. So if you look at Pab Pablo Picasso, for example, it tells the years that he lived, 1881 to 1973. And it says if Pablo Picasso had, Picasso had painted a panda, he would have used lots of unexpected shapes and colors. His painting would make you think you were looking at a panda from lots of different angles all at once. This clever style is called cubism. So you can sort of look back again at his painting. Once you've used the book a lot of times, it'll be easier to, to come apart. But you can look at the style and talk about that. And I think for that reason, the book uh, has more appeal, a wider appeal, not just for little kids, but it could be used in all kinds of classrooms for art. And after you teach children a little bit about Picasso and um, his style of art, then you could show this painting and have them maybe paint something in his style. You could look at uh, her style, Callow's style, and see what she did. Now, if you go back to the gallery, it says, Frida Kahlo's paintings were inspired by her beautiful garden, her homeland of Mexico, and her own fiery personality. If she had painted koalas, she would have been sure to feature her flowery headdresses and trademark dark eyebrows on the cuddly creatures. So you also notice she's given them her eyebrows, which koalas don't normally have. So all in all, I think this is a great book to have on hand, as I said, for a variety of age levels and for a variety of reasons. One, to teach counting one to ten. Two, to teach painting styles and also have children um, use it as a jumping off point to learn more about each artist and also maybe practice painting in their style. So I think you'll like this book for your kids, grandkids, students from Andrews McNeil Publisher and we highly recommend it here at the National Writing for Children Center.